How's it going, YouTube? Southern experience here. We're gonna have my 320. I uh, don't have any lane one Q. I run out of it, used it all up. But uh, what I have is lane one Q and Rushmore blend mixed. And uh, Rushmore blend is a in-state blend, very similar, if not identical to lane one Q. Looks, smells, except if if you were to put them on a spectrum, you know, they uh. Jesus. One Q, rush more. They're like this. Where one doesn't completely go to one end, the other one does, but it doesn't, you know. They offset to make a hole, and it just completely fills in the flavor. Of course, both aromatics. But you get a really nice flavor out of both of them. You get. Before you even light it up, you get a really nice um, vanilla, almost French vanilla smell out of the tobacco before it's even lit and out of the bag. And as you're smoking it, you're not getting... I mean, you still get the hints of the vanilla. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. My awesome, lovely wife bought me this. This is my uh, Father's Day present, the Rusticated 320 Trevi. I saw one of these right after I first started watching all you guys as a lurker, trying to, you know, decide, and you guys were talking about these, and I instantly fell in love with these pipes because, you know, it's just a sweet-looking pipe, just a hunky-looking, meaty-looking pipe. And I always thought that this part, the stem, would be, you know, really hard to, to deal with. But they design it in such a way that it's really nice. You know, and I'm kind of wondering, I bought this, or my wife bought it, I should say, but not all the lines are perfectly clean, like you would think a Savinelli would have. And the thing is, is the box didn't say Savinelli across the top. But it had everything a Savinelli does. It has the Savinelli balsa name brand balsa tip. I just, maybe it was just a, a different boxing or whatever. But, I don't know. Went out again. That's all right. I'm going to light it and burn it through slow. Using matches. Stuff smells awesome. I'm gonna have to order some. Some more one Q, and I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Uh, some more Rushmore blend next time I'm in the hills, Black Hills. I'm just gonna mix them right off the bat and let them marinate for a while. I called all the pipe shops or tobacco shops down there that have it. None of them will ship me any, so I have to wait till I go to town. Which might be a month or two before I get back to it. Of course, I know you can get Lane One Q all day, any day, every day. Rushmore Blend for two ounces of it, it's like for two ounces, or was that just an ounce? Six bucks. So it's like three dollars an ounce.
See, now that I'm learning how to smoke a pipe a lot better, I'm getting way better flavor out of it. Way better smell out of it. I'm enjoying it way more. Everybody loved Lane Wing Q. I almost got burnt out on it because I think I just overdid it. Was smoking it too hard, too fast. And it just, I don't know. And so I started into the crossover blends, the Frog Morton Cellar that somebody great sent me. Backwood Briar, if you're watching this, buddy, I'm sorry. I had a sample of Frog Morton Cellar sitting on my dresser that was supposed to go with that package I sent you, which you haven't gotten yet. I will put that in an envelope and I will send you just that sample so that will complete. The samples I sent you was all the samples I've ever received from, well, from the two Yappos. If you go back to my beginning videos, you'll see there's two Yappos, one from Steve L, one from Piper McG. And the one from Cisco, three, sorry. I can't count. Ugh. All Southerners ain't stupid, just me. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I missed it. It was hidden. I'm not trying to hoard it. It was hidden, I promise you. Uh, so I will get that sent out. But anyway, I'll have my wife mail it out tomorrow. Because that's cool when you don't like that, ain't it? Yes, I am a pyro from the word go. I love burning things. <laughs> you ask anybody that knows me. Love is an understatement. <laughs> My wife sitting over here. I don't know if you can hear her doing side color commentary. <laughs> That's all right. She bought me this pipe. I'll let it happen this time. <laughs> you want to say hi? No. Okay. <laughs> he just wants to lip off behind the screen. I've That's been, all right. I've been cleaning the house all day. I ain't getting on nothing. <laughs> I am woman. Hear me roar. <laughs> She's got the makeup on. That's all right. It smells really good. My wife loves this blend. She loves the smell of it. It's really, very relaxing to her. And no, that's not the glow off the bald head of mine. It's the light. It's my awesomeness is what that is. El Magnifico has awesome beard. I have awesome head. But anyway, uh, I don't want to keep you guys forever in a boring chat, but, uh, it's not boring, <laughs> you heard it here, folks. I don't know, maybe you didn't hear that. She said, it's not boring. I'm here. <laughs> but anyway, I am loving being part of the 320 Mafia, 320 Thursday. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't go through by Thursday. I don't have any old pictures of me. My mom and dad have all them. I've got some from college. Yeah, if I show you one from college, like my wife's just talking about, yeah, it don't look like me. In fact, what it looks like is a crackhead version of me. See, I look the way I look, except I had hair when I was a teenager. Um, I still got hair. I just shave it off. But in college, I lost 100 pounds. You see these big old Dumbo ears? They sticking way out when I was skinny. That's why I like these fat cheeks, see? They cover up them ears. Somewhat. But yeah, I looked at... Earlier when I was looking for these, I looked at... I don't know how many different versions of this pipe they make, but I think I looked at almost every one of them. With a pile of them, 20 or 30 different versions of this pipe, the Hercules, the EX, the, well, I think that's the same thing, but the Smooths, the Rusticated, the different level. I mean, you can get up to spending well over 100 almost $200, if not more, on this shape of pipe, but just in a different style. I mean, they... Uh, Aaron Strange, Briarboy, he told me this is an aluminum band, which if, 
I don't know if it's wise to even try to pull this off and try to clean that or if I should just get some Q-tips and try to get that. What it is is I think they got some of the stain here. Yeah. Can you see that? It's not going to focus. Anyway, sorry. Uh, anyway, it looks like it's old right here. It, but I think what it is is the stain. <clears throat> Excuse me, the uh, the stain kind of got on here. Um, I don't have my tea with me. Go out and pick it. I'm out of it. Look at that. We're out again. Pipe Pappy wanted us to make three videos a week. I've done blowed up your feed with three today. Well, it matches really. It makes a difference, you guys. Yeah, missing a tooth, so I can spit it out between my teeth. Get some. You can't do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> she brings up a good point. Touche. I can't eat sunflower seeds no more. I used to crack them right there with that tooth. I'm no good with this tooth. My left tooth is like my left hand. I can't use it. It does pretty good holding a pipe, though. Anyway, she sneezes weird. I hope you guys have a great had a great week. Hope you're gonna have a great weekend. I'm going fishing this weekend. Be the second time I've been fishing for eleven years. About time she let loose for eleven years. I did. I ain't been fishing since I moved to South Dakota. Except for Memorial Day was the first time in 11 years. I had to buy all new stuff. But anyway. Uh, hope you guys having a great evening. God bless America. Good old man. Hey, uh, MDP Harlow. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you watch any of my videos or not, but I'm still going to talk to you. Look at that, boy. Mason Jar. He's drinking an RC Coca-Cola. We just got RC Coca-Cola here the other day. And uh, it was in a bottle, and it was flat. So I called the company. I said, this flat ain't supposed to be flat. It's supposed to burn. I'm getting a free one out of it. But I didn't call to get a free one. I called to let them know. Uh, it was a bad deal. But good old sweet tea. I told you, Cisco. That's what I like, boy. Yeah. Good old southern sweet tea. Doesn't wear out again. I'm gonna go for the whole auction right after. But um, anyway, anyway, whoo! Long video. Uh, 14 minutes so I'm gonna shut her down guys uh, thank you for watching to the end if you do um, thanks again Carmen for the pipes uh, awesome deal thanks for sending those thanks for the backy sample I'm gonna order me some tins of that Sutliff morning smoke that's good stuff Frogmorton cellar Mississippi River Steve Ells blend it is right there is a oh I smoked two bowls of it today. <laughs> Thought about doing this, but I want to break this in light. So, anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a good evening. We'll see you. Take her easy. Keep them lit, guys.